Hello rock people, this is Dave the Geology Dude. This is a quick look at the smaller of two erosive caves on a beach at Point Defiance Park in Tacoma, Washington. Tides have eroded this cave within the last several years. This cave previously did not exist. The walls and high bluff areas along the beach are not actually rock. The walls are ancient lake bottom muds that were compressed by the weight of a huge glacier. It was nearly a kilometer thick or a half mile thick during a previous ice age. After glacial compression, these muds have a bedrock-like density. It is highly resistive to the erosion from the daily tides and waves that strike this exposed area along Puget Sound. However, within these layers of compressed muds is a steeply inclined layer of sand. Geologists call this nearly vertical seam a sand dike, which is an old mining term that relates to a structure that cuts across the geologic layers of a locality. During an ancient earthquake, this hand-thick seam of sand was injected into a small fault that crossed these compressed mud layers. However, like wet sand in a sand castle, the tides and waves can easily erode into this sand. When wet, the sand dike becomes much weaker than the adjacent compressed muds. A void space is created through erosion and then forces from the tides and waves are able to enlarge this weak locality into a cave. Using photogrammetry, we can see what the cave looks like inside the steep hill on the beach. The incline of the cave exactly follows the incline of the sand dike. And the sand dike, now located at the far end of the cave, continues deeper into the hill. When water enters the cave, the sand dike remains vulnerable to more erosion. This is why it's easy to conclude that geology isn't rocket science, it's rock science! <laughs>